How'd you sleep? Uh, not too well. Shoulder pain? <sighs> no, pain in the ass wife. No. I kept him up all night because I was afraid my aneurysm was going to explode and I was going to die. <laughs> Hi, I'm Dr. Karev. Where's Dr. Gray? She's supposed to be in my surgery. Uh, she and Dr. Shepard got called in on an emergency, so it looks like he's not going to get to your aneurysm until later. What? <laughs> Later, when? Could be a few hours. It could even be tomorrow. Tomorrow? I mean, she's already waited till tomorrow. Today is tomorrow. I'm sorry. Who are you? I'm her husband. Oh, I, I look like this because I... I ran him over with our car before I knew I had this huge time bomb in my head when I was just a big old pregnant person waiting for her baby. So just please, if Dr. Shepard could, you know, get to me sooner rather than later. Um... <clears throat> What's the emergency? Addison's brother. Addison's here? What is she doing? It looks like she's praying. Mm, no, Addie doesn't pray. What's she doing? Uh, she's praying. No, Addison doesn't pray. She must be hiding. I can hear you. And I'm not hiding. I'm trying to pray. But I don't know how to pray because I'm a wasp. We only go to church on Christmas. You guys go. I got this. I have no clout with God. God doesn't even know who I am. Which sucks because I could... I could use some help. <clears throat> Dear God, I need your guidance. I kissed a Pete surgeon. You kissed a Pete surgeon? I never thought I'd end up with a woman, God, but I mean, not until lately, but th th that's not the problem. The problem is the Pete's thing. She's, she's perky and has butterflies on her scrub cap. But she's also hot, really hot. So help me get over the butterflies. Amen. You're an amazing doctor. You save babies. God knows who you are. Do you really believe in all this? In God? Sometimes. More. Most of the time. When it counts. Fifty-two-year-old male fell down a flight of stairs. He's five days post-op from a cholecystectomy, which looks to have caused the fall. Why would having your gallbladder removed have caused the fall? Mm -hmm. A non-laparoscopic cole? Sir, what hospital did you have your operation at? Here. Uh, my surgeon was Dr. Campbell. That explains it. Hey, excuse us for one moment. <clears throat> All right. What? Campbell was Seattle Grace's first female surgeon, as pioneer as it gets. Mostly she just sits in her office and spreads prestige around, but huh. she <laughs> still does routine surgery now and then. I mean, botches routine surgery. I'll page Chief. No, page Campbell. It's her patient. And let her maim the guy again? How about we page someone who actually knows how to operate instead of some dinosaur who refuses to retire her scalpel and go join her friends in Boca? The dinosaur is here. No need to page me. So, did you scope her out yet? Ooh. Arizona. Oh, right. Now, no, I haven't had a chance to swing by peds and ask the nurse to point out the attending who kissed my friend in a dirty bar bathroom. Well, at least you're still good for coffee. Well, that's not for you. Coffee? Why, thank you, Mark. Well, that's, uh, that's not for you either. <gasps> Morning, Dr. Gray. Yeah, you can keep your secret coffee. Huh? Until you tell Derek, our relationship is going to continue to consist of you hiding in the attic and me smuggling snacks past Mara's bedroom. Do you know what that makes you? Your boyfriend? Yeah, and Frank. I am dating Anne Frank, and I'm tired of it. I, I, I want to go downstairs with you. I, I want to tell the Germans to kiss my ass. I want to tell.
tell him. Soon. And when I do, you'll be my date to the wedding. Jared proposed. Well, not yet, but when he does. This application is the first step in the start of a new life. How are we feeling? Positive? Confident? I am good. Great. Uh, you take care of your own feelings. Pete's surgery is super competitive. Yeah, that's why I've come armed with letters of recommendation that put the competition to shame. Look, Shepard says I'm talented and resourceful. Sloan finds it an honor to work with me every day. What about the I... chief? What's the chief think? I'm still working on that. Bailey, the chief says the only recommendation that matters. Everyone on the selection committee works. Yeah, I know. Just, you calm down. You got it under control. Good, because speaking on behalf of me, we couldn't be more excited to have you. <laughs> Yay. Uh, Chief, just a friendly nudge. Your letter of recommendation is due by the end of the day. I'll remind Patricia. So you have written it? He'll get your letter of recommendation. I need more time. No. Don't get me wrong. I am honored that you asked me over all the other residents, but you know, it's not easy just telling a doctor your stature down to 500 words. I chose you, O'Malley, because you're the only one I could trust to do this without screwing it up. So don't. 